What's up gamers? It's your boy Wee DS Rebel here with an easy how to play Zombies Outbreak on Cold War. I'm actually kind of a zombies noob having not played the zombies modes on any of the other Black Ops pretty much. But something about Outbreak really caught my attention and has kept me playing. So I figured I have a few tips that I could share with you guys. We're going to talk about attachments on your gun, your skills and their upgrades, how to increase the damage tier in three different ways in game. We're going to talk about loot boxes and how to get the best reward and a little bit about how to get free legendary weapons. Let's go. First off, when you're creating a weapon, add as many of the attachments that increase salvage drop rate as you can. These are suppressors, laser sights, and flashlights sometimes. Add them. The more salvage is going to come in handy later. Next up, we got our weapon classes, field upgrades, perks, and ammo mods under the skills tab. Weapon classes, maybe your favorite class is assault rifles or SMGs. Boom, 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 boom. Upgrade these suckers. Not on all weapon classes, but on the main weapon classes, you can get on, say, tier 3 upgrade. It unlocks three additional attachment slots. That means eight attachments on your favorite weapon. Basically, fully attached. That's awesome, and you want to do that. Field upgrades. My favorite is Healing Aura. I've got it at four so far. I'm working on number five. I need the crystals first. Right now, because I have it upgraded enough, when I pop this healing aura, anybody on the map that's downed or needs health gets back up. Like, as long as I have this field upgrade sitting there, boom, all my buddies can get back up after dying. It's amazing. Choose your favorite one, upgrade as much as you can. Perk sodas. I'm really fond of Speed Cola and Stamina. Although they're all pretty awesome and all have their unique benefits for having upgraded them when you use them in the game. Last but not least, Ammo Mods. My favorite is Shatter Blast and Brain Rod's pretty cool too. Upgrade these to attach them to your weapon in the game and get some awesome perks. Freeze or Blast or electric, or brain rot turns enemies over to your side. Once we get into the game, there's a bunch of stuff that you can do. Now, a lot of people just want to speed run the mission, but there's a lot of side missions that you can do to get loot, money, rewards, whatever, before you go and do the main mission. You'll see like a Tesla T looking thing. This is a challenge loot box. You have to fight some pretty strong enemies to be able to open it. You have a dragon, which you go to, and you feed it by killing enemies in the purple fire circle in the allotted time. And once it takes off, you get another loot box. And there's one that looks kind of like three skulls next to each other. And if you go to this one, there's some dead bodies. One of them has a message that you play and listen to. And then... Some beams drop down to the sky with some super powerful enemies. You go over there, you kill them, and once they're dead, everybody gets a random free perk soda. All of these, they're not all on the map each level. But you want to go to each one, get your rewards, guys. Now we're going to talk about loot boxes in just a minute and how to optimize them. But first I want to talk about your weapons. Almost everybody knows about Pack-a-Punch. It costs five grand for your first level, 15 for your second level, 30,000 for your third level. But I didn't know about how to get your ammo mods on or how to upgrade your damage tier until like almost a week into playing. I felt like a noob. I actually have a clip of me getting X-filled on level seven with level three Pack-a-Punch guns but no ammo mod or damage tier because I had no idea and we barely got out. 0, 0.0 seconds on the clock. Go check that clip out. 
Here's how to do your ammo mods and your damage tiers. You go to the pack a punch. Once you got your your level of that, tab over to the ammo mods. This is where you can add your shatter blast or your brain rot to your gun, and it's awesome. It's like a little vial on the side of your gun, you know. And furthermore, how you get damage tier upgrades to your gun is you go over to the armor dummy and tab over. This costs salvage and special salvage on the higher levels to upgrade your damage tier and is completely necessary if you want to go on to the higher levels. Now here is how you get the most out of loot boxes and possibly get some rare legendary weapons for free. Every loot box that you see on the map has this little face next to it and it changes colors. Blue, purple, green, yellow. Always in that order. Blue, purple, green, yellow. Pop it open on yellow and you get legendary loot. Wait till it gets to yellow and it gives you the highest possibilities for your reward. Now you don't always get a legendary gun. You don't always get, you know, what you want, but it will increase everything's chances and everything's rarity by a little bit. Say if you pop it open on blue, you might only get like some ammo and a stun grenade and maybe like, maybe like a tier one or tier two damage weapon. Now, if you open it on yellow for legendary, I recently got a ray gun for free from a small loot box because I waited till it opened on legendary. Now, some people have tried arguing with me. Oh, no, the colors designate what player you are, and you got to wait for your color. No, 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 that's not how it works. I promise you, if you open your loot box when the face turns yellow, you get legendary loot rewards. Not always a legendary gun, but always a higher tier of loot. Check it out. Try it out. Now, here's how to get the shockwave easily. Maybe not totally for free because you got to start the trials. But maybe if somebody else pays, you can pretty much get it for free. Check it out. For the trials, the trial machine is always on the map. It looks like a tape recorder. It's usually kind of central, kind of in the middle, but it changes places. Start the computer up to start a trial. You may have to kill zombies a certain kind of way. You may have to... Uh, break through glass. You may have to parachute. There's a bunch of different challenges You get common rare epic and legendary and you want to wait till it gets to legendary You don't have to pick up your reward After each trial it rolls over and not only does it roll over by each completed You know tier of loot. No if you have say rare and a half like you're halfway to epic that half rolls over when you start a new trial and you may only have to do a couple more to get the next tier. So wait until your reward reaches legendary status and then go pick it up at the uh, reward station. I found that you have like a almost like a one in three chance of getting the shockwave from a legendary reward. And this thing Paul's ass, dude. It's like a Ghostbuster machine on crack. You suck up the enemies. I call it the suck it, kind of like uh, the office, you know. You turn on, you suck it, and you suck it. Suck it, okay. suck it, suck it. And once you have 15 or more, you can use this Kamehameha Blast with the right trigger and pretty much one-shot anything on the lower levels. Might take a couple of these blasts for the higher levels, but I'm telling you, this thing is way overpowered and so much fun. Let your buddies try it out. You can get another one. And watch how much fun they have. Here's some clips of my buddy using it. Dude, I, I, this, this may be my literal new favorite toy. <laughs> Look at that, I'm, I'm not even like shooting, I'm just sucking people in. Yeah. Like enjoy the hell. Alright, get this guy, get this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, make it happen, bro. Make it happen. Yeah! Oh my god! That <laughs> <laughs> was a literal bloodbath.
bonus clips, here's some incredible glitches that we found while playing. <laughs> okay, wait, turn toward me. Is turn toward me. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Get a picture of that. Okay, st you, where you're standing, this is where the gun is pointing. Okay. <laughs> One arm is popping through the other shoulder. <laughs> What's it look like if I reload? <laughs> Here, flaunt your weapon. Flaunt your weapon. Uh, left and then left. Left uh, D pad then. Oh, it's normal. Yeah, that's normal. Then <laughs> right back. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hey, you can you can you can see my stream if you want to see what you look like. Ah! <laughs> uh, too bad these are all gonna explode. You're so explode. derpy when you run. Run, run. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that's why I was like. Oh my god, these wait, guys is, that, is that Ooh, prone? Is, is that prone? Oh, oh my god, prone. Oh my god. Prone. Oh my god. <laughs> turn, turn my way, turn my way. <laughs> That's some Michael Jackson shit, bro. Stand up and then put the right there. Oh my god. Ooh. It's like when he leans over, like when he leans over really hard on his tippy toes. Right. Hey. You're looking funny, bro. You're looking hilarious right now. Do, do some circles or something. Like spin around, spin around. There you go. Funny. <laughs> what? What's going on? Oh, God damn it! So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Check out my website AFK TV for all my different channels, including my music channel this gaming channel, and my news, politics, religion podcast channel. And once again, thank you for the view, and I'll see you next time. Keep it real.